Hey guys, it's Evan from I'm Gadget Man. Um, today's a very special episode of I'm Gadget Man. Um, I'm going to show you guys, actually not a gadget, but um, something that's been puzzling me forever. As you can see, I'm throwing it in the air. I'm going to teach you how to solve a Rubik's Cube really easily. Okay? Um, I've watched a lot of videos. I tried using YouTube to try to solve this thing. And from piecing together ideas from one guy to another to another person, um, I figured out how to um, solve the Rubik's Cube. So sort of bringing that all together and bring, incorporating some of my own ideas, um, I'm hoping that this will be the be-all, end-all lesson for you. And um, let's, let's go to it. Okay, so get this out of the way. Here's a cube. Now, like I said before, this is probably the most annoying object on the planet to somebody who doesn't understand, um, you know, somebody who doesn't get puzzles right away. Um, I've been, t been tormented by this cube for uh, at least a couple of years, um, always thinking that whoever can solve this must be a genius because, or they've got to be somebody special or somebody who. Uh, just is smarter than I am for some reason, but it's really just a toy and I'm gonna prove to you that and a lot of other videos have said it that anybody can solve the cube honestly I took a lot of ideas from multiple um, different YouTube um, guys so some are really annoying where they're like yeah all you have to do is this just go like this and and then go like that and then like this and then like this and like that and then and then and then it's you know like that and then it's solved you know and you're like okay thanks buddy that's awesome I'm glad you can figure it out but thanks for sharing um, then you have the other guy who uh, does a rap you know uh, down down bottom bottom up 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 bottom bottom down bottom bottom yay doesn't understand what bottom and up and down and right you know it's like uh, that doesn't help me at all and then there's guys who do formulas you know um, and I have to say that yes you have to learn formulas that's just the half of it you know and you're just probably pissed off right now you're like great I thought you were going to teach me something new what I'm going to try to teach you is um, how to memorize the formulas using a story basically um, some of the story I've stole from a couple of other people and I'll put their videos on my links on my description it's because I'm gonna give credit to them and really only two people two videos that helped me solve this son of a bee um, so hopefully this will be the final video that you watch and you're like okay I got it now I don't have any Vaseline in this thing so it's not gonna be so super slippy slidey it will get stuck and caught and aggravating every once in a while but um, anyway so here we go so they always say the first thing you need to do is pick a color right so I pick white just because it's the brightest most obvious color on the cube itself um, and they always say that you know the, the one color that never changes is the ones in the center these will always be white this will always be blue this will always be yellow red green and orange okay great thanks for sharing now everybody knows that so I'm gonna pick white like I said so I'm going to solve for white. What you need to do is you first need to put a plus here, right? And sometimes you'll get it by accident and sometimes you'll figure it out. But what I figured out is, because the next step is after you get this plus, you have to make sure that the colors here are the same, right? And right now none of them are the same. So, um, so I'm going to show you how to do that kind of easily. So you have to look for what's going to be these centerpieces. You have this is going to be a centerpiece, right? Because it's in the center. This is in the center. These are all centerpieces, right? Of each individual color. They're not going to change. Okay, guys, sorry, I had to stop the video. Um, somebody rang the doorbell. Um, so, okay, we, I'll go back to solving for white and the pluses and I told you that every color here should line up the same and that the middles are the middles so you guys got that already right so the first thing I'm gonna do is try to find put this put any white in the middle here um, so I look for the easiest ones right so 
and forgive me, this is the first time I've ever done it on a camera, so I'm sort of looking through the viewfinder and trying to do this at the same time is a little difficult, but so bear with me. Um, okay, so if you look, what you want to do is you want to get these white, because we're solving for white, you want to get these white faces on the bottom, okay? Like, here's the white face on the bottom, and you're like, okay, cool. So, all you need to do is, you, here's the trick. You see this is white and red, right? So what you want to do is find the the red. So there's the red right there. And you're like, okay, so that's red, but it's still not on the top. Well, just turn it around, and now it's on the top, right? So now we have one side done. Now, you may lose a side because you're trying to get the other sides, but ultimately it will end up okay. You're going to trust me on that. Uh, here's another white one, right? but it's not on the bottom. So I don't have any whites on the bottom besides this corner, but I'm not solving for the corners yet. So I need to get like this white on the bottom. So in order to do that, I'm just going to follow it. You know, you look at it. So if I turn it, if I turn this side, the right side down, and no formulas yet. It's it's over here, right? Cuz it it was here and now it's there. Well, that's not going to get it on the bottom, so I need to turn it one more time. All right? and now it's back there. So if I turn it this way, it's on the bottom now, right? But you're like, but wait, how did you get that one over there? It doesn't match, so it doesn't matter. I still have my red. So that's on the bottom. So now it's white green, right? So then I just turn to white green, white, green, green, right? Because remember, this color doesn't change because it's in the center. And I turn it around. Look at that. Okay, ignore this one. Oh no, not that one. Ignore this one. Because this one doesn't match, so it's useless to me. Now we look on the bottom again. Nope, no more whites. So let's try to find another one. Oh, there's another white in the middle, right? So again, I'm going to uh, turn it this way, okay? Because now it's up here and it's ready to drop. So now if I turn the back here, now you're like, oh crap, you're going to ruin the green. It doesn't matter. I'm going to throw the, the white piece down on the floor, down on the bottom, right? Now I look at it and it's orange, but that's green, so that doesn't match. So now I'm going to just rotate here, look. White, orange, 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 right? And I turn it all the way around, and now I have orange, and red is solved, right? So you're like, but you, you ruined that other one, but hey, it's no big deal, white's still my top. Here's that center green one. I'm going to drop it down because that just brings it down on the floor, right? And remember, white, green, so we got to find that green middle piece. I'm going to rotate it around to the green middle piece, okay? Then it's on the bottom, and I'm going to turn it around, right? So now we have green, orange, and red. So now I'm looking for that last middle piece, and there it is. It's right here, okay? But again, it's on the side, it's not on the bottom. So I'm just going to turn it down. Now, there's that red one, okay? You see that? There's that red one, but this one's attached. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it down to the floor. All right, it's on the floor. And I'm just going to look now for the blue piece. But first, I just want to get this one out of the way. So I'm just sliding it this way, okay? I'm only doing that so I can just turn this piece back up so I get my plus still. Okay, I didn't do anything funky there. I'm just following the pieces with my eyes. This is attached now to blue, so we have to find the blue cor the blue piece. There's the blue piece. I'm gonna turn it around. Now it's blue, white, blue, blue, right? And again, we just flip it around to the top, and now we have a plus. Okay, we have the blue, we have the orange, we have the green, and we have the red. Okay, so that's step one.